nigga. Young Savage, why you trapping so hard? Huh. Why these nigga capping so hard? Huh. Why you got a 12 car garage? Hi guys, so I first started off by moisturizing my client's face using Lancome Moisturizer with sunscreen in it. I also spray a little primer that I got from the beauty supply store. Now I'm using a zipper that I purchased from Walmart and I'm pasting it on her face with spirit gum. So yeah, I'm just taking my art brush and I'm just um, pasting a zipper to her face, making sure everything is secure. Okay, after the zipper is secure. I'm just going to start brushing through her brows and getting the brows together I'm using a Maybelline brow pencil in light brown and just striking through her brows then I'm going after I'm done filling in the brow with the pencil I'm going to you know brush it with the spoolie and then go in with a brow filler by LA girl and you know just to make sure the brows look like brows and filling them in now I'm going in with my concealer I mix the color chestnut and a little cool tan I'm just cleaning her brows with the concealer and the leftover I'm using at the top now I'm taking a real technique brush and blending all the concealer out making sure everything's seamless now I'm putting the same concealer on her eyelid, rubbing it in using my fingers, and this is her eyeshadow base. And to set the eyeshadow base, I'm using a little light powder that I got from H&M in a contour palette. Now I'm taking a little Ruby Kisses highlighter and I'm putting it on her brow bone as her highlight. Now I'm taking a darker brown shade above her crease and I'm not sure of that palette you guys I'm so sorry but it will be in the description and inside of her crease I'm taking an even darker brown to define it and I'm blending everything out making sure it's coming together now I'm taking a little matte gloss or matte lipstick from NYX and I'm using that as her eyelid color it's like a burgundy well actually this is a base for her glitter and I'm putting some of that spirit gum on top of that to stick on some rose gold glitter by J Cat. And I also got that from the beauty spot store. And I'm just dusting away all that glitter. Now I'm putting on her foundation. And this foundation is by Black Opal. The color will be in the description box. I'm just blending away. Now I'm taking concealer. This is LA Girl Concealer. The color Chestnut. And I mixed the little cool tan in there. And I'm just putting it under both eyes and I'm blending it out with a wet beauty blender. Well, a real technique sponge. I'm sorry. Now I'm taking the color Espresso in the LA Girl Concealer and I'm using that as a contour and I'm blending it out with a brush. And now I'm setting her under eyes with my airspun powder and setting her contour with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. And this is the medium to dark contour palette. Now I'm taking a bigger brush and I'm going to dust off all of that powder and I'm going to make sure everything's set using my Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm taking an eyeshadow for her blush. And now I'm putting Highlight by Ruby Kisses on her cheekbones. 
and I'm going to spray her face up with some Ruby Kisses setting spray. Now I'm putting that um, spirit gum on her chin and just putting some paper towel tissue on the open space. And this is going to be used as like peeling skin, yucky skin, whatever you want to call it. I'm just trying to put that in all type of spots. And now this is a latex, um, I don't know what to call it, but it's some type of latex stuff I got from Walmart. And I put that on top of the tissue and now I'm going in with the same foundation I used on her face. And I'm just covering it to make it blend in with her skin and just adding my final pieces then I went on top of that with some black face paint and now I'm going in with like a burgundy eyeshadow to you know make it look all rough and stuff and I'm pulling up the skin the quote unquote skin and now I'm going in with my blood thick blood that I got from Walmart as well it all came in like a kit and I'm just putting that all over the open space and I'm going back in with my black face paint and just going back and forth with the face paint and the glue she's taking selfie you guys <laughs> okay and now I'm just putting like a little glitter you know to keep her eyes glammed up and then I'm adding her lashes and I believe those are the number 47 beauty supply store lashes and adding my big shot mascara now I'm taking a sponge and I'm using my black face paint to put it all on her chest and I'm blending it out with the blood with the brush that had the blood on there so it can you know look a little rough and now I'm putting some red food coloring to make it look like blood is dripping and I'm blending a little more of that thick blood out and my final drops and that is the finished look you guys thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment and tune in for my next tutorial thank you